Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to my stream of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is the very first Throwback Thursday Call of Duty stream that I've done. I might make this a more common thing, depending on if you guys like it or not, where I go back and stream older, out-of-cycle Call of Duty games, which at this point can be anything from Black Ops 3 all the way back to maybe COD 2. And Still probably works fine. Of... Oops, got a little echo there, but paused it. I want to say hello to everybody, and in case you're wondering why Advanced Warfare in particular, well, I did a poll on Twitter with many options, as you can see there on the screen, and Advanced Warfare 1 pretty handedly also considering that sledgehammer is putting out the next call of duty game i figured this one would be somewhat appropriate next question you want to ask is why the gingerbread exo of all things well if you haven't seen the video about it the gingerbread exo was actually for julian whose name you can see there engraved in the armor and it was for the make a wish foundation i uh, said some mean things about it i took them back felt bad and now i am indefinitely running the gingerbread exo so i'm going to go ahead and find a game Probably, we're going to play probably like regular old Domination here today, and I'm going to say hello to some people from the chat. Hello, Alfie Ward, Ken Keg, Deadass B. Timson, okay. Uh, Alfie Ward, uh, Lone Wolf, I think I said that twice, Just Gas, JC Embrys, Terrorability, good to see you. Error, Freddy B, Wizbiz, Nate, uh... Hamza, Andres Martinez, The Fallen Primes. We have a guy named Sports Blogger, Leo Rodriguez. Good to see you here today. Glad to have all of you with me here supporting me while I play this game. I'm not going to lie, it's been a long time since I've played Advanced Warfare. Probably the last time I played it was the last time that I did a... Oh boy, this feels strange. The last time I did a video... Okay. The video for the EXO. <laughs> I got... Okay, so I joined a game where we're losing and I got slammed by a kill streak immediately. Such is the older wow, I forgot how fast this game was. My god. Oh my god, it's so fast. Okay, this is very different than I was expecting. Like the way he sprints and moves is uh very, very different than good old whoop, I'm gonna get sniped right there. And that's uh, a big explosion. Ah boy, this I can already tell this is gonna be a challenge. I've been doing too much MWR we're getting hammered by streaks, unfortunately. I'm going to wait this one out. It's me and one other person versus a small clan over here. And unfortunately, what that means is we've joined a game where we're losing extremely badly. And they've just got streaks to dominate us into the ground. So let me... Oh, gosh. That's... Oof, this is so different. So very different. Which was pretty much the, the theme at the time it was made as well is that it was so ridiculously different, not everybody took to it. Starting off today, oh, and six, I am McLovin' it. My gosh, I am pinned in my spawn, gonna pick up a kill. Double kill right there, see, I'll, I will get the feel of it. Like, I will get back into this game, I promise you guys that. And uh, like I was saying, when the game first came out, it took a lot of L's. Uh, not many people were big hypey on the, you know, advanced movement train. But ultimately, I ended up liking this game. I know a lot of people didn't. I think it was just too much change, which was paradoxical, and I feel for the developers. Like, they, the community at the time was demanding change. Call of Duty is the same every year. Black Ops 2 is the same as Black Ops 1 with some different stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And then Advanced Warfare came out. And we hit the furthest future we had seen, even, even actually probably further until uh, Infinite Warfare came out. The most advanced movement, the most changed guns, the most change in the loot system and unlock system and the attachments. And while it didn't introduce specialists, we did have our abilities here, which I honestly forgot about using until just now. I want to rush and get kills, but since I'm kind of bad now, I'm just going to be a good teammate and take C. There's almost a 0% chance of winning any of these gunfights. I'm going to go through the building. I've got the ASM-1. It'll just spam people, really, particularly. And there's another drone out there. Got a nice little hipfire kill, but there were multiple people in the building. One guy already had time to go around and just get behind everybody and everything. Can I make it through the little hole? Ah, I don't think I did. And as I kind of expected, which really blows, basically, they saved all their kill streaks for this exact moment for the next round so that they can just crap on me while I'm taking the flag. So we gotta fight that out. Fireside Lemons, good to see you. Miss uh, Till Bill, thank you for the compliments on the videos. I do appreciate it. Looks like we've been hit by the system hack, which was another extremely unpopular option at the time. And again, we're getting shit on by the clan, which kind of sucks. I just wanted to start out with a normal game. System hack being annoying because it disrupts your vision more than it does anything. Like, being EMP'd is one thing. I just got hosed to the wall. What? Enemy 
Uh, I don't know about that now. That's uh, that's a little bit bullshitty to me, to be honest with you. Oh man, that's a lot of baddies. Let's see if I can fool them. No, nope, no fooling. Come on, get a lucky hit fire hit. Come on! Oh my gosh, this is just. That's one of the things that happens. Uh, I'm trying not to be mean to this game in particular, but when you go back to an older Call of Duty game, there is nobody playing but people that never left the game and people that like work in big groups like this. So it wouldn't really matter if I went back to Black Ops 2 or 1 or what it is in particular I'm doing. I'd probably still run into the same clans and groups of people that do nothing but want to shit on you. And I'm very likely to... I uh, should not have challenged that. He's got a Sten? Oh, that's an AK. Okay, he has an AK. Lots of new guns I don't have. Nick Fabian says, Hey Drifter, can you milk my goat? I do not believe my goat milking skills are up to date, unfortunately. I know many of you want your goats milked, but I'm going to have a lot of problems. Yep, he's rocking the ASM1 as well. Man, this is just the most brutal start to a stream that I have had in an extremely long time. 4 and 16, leading the team at 4 and 16 because I'm the only person that won't quit despite getting just hammered by streaks over and over and over again. And that, that just goes back to the old Never Rage Quit series. No matter how bad things are, no matter how tits up it gets, no matter how frustrating it is, I don't quit out of games. My, my viewpoint is that the other team has more or less earned their victory, even though, yes, I know that I'm not sure that this is the biggest earn, how they just kind of turn and shit on us like this. But if I quit now, it just ruins the fun for other people. I don't know if you've ever had this experience. When you're playing a video game and you're doing incredibly well, which I am not. <laughs> uh, you're doing incredibly well, right? And you're doing, and you're like, man, I'm really slaying, and I'm earning my kills, and I'm barely surviving, and the other team just decides, you know what? I don't want to lose, and they just quit. And that is some really abnormally accurate aerial assault drone aim right there that kind of kind of bothers me. Hello, Mike Dodd. Good to see you. Yeah, man, longtime sponsor there. Good to see you, too. Uh, 4 and 19. What a very healthy start today. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to play the Reviv clan of all Maximum Prestige Masters that have uh, not left this game. So I'm going to go ahead and find a Team Deathmatch game. Much less likely to find an organized pub stomping crew there. Though we do have this one. It seems like Ghostfire, who has the SVO Royalty Elite and some very strange loadout. And Vanoss Gaming 1030, it's almost not, definitely not the real Vanoss is running overkill with the cell 3 cauterizer and the svo of all things actually do i have an s do i have a cell 3 class i might use that one just because it's crazy shotguns oh i don't have it oh i don't have the blunderbuss either i have those on my xbox one account but i'm playing on playstation 4 so it looks like we're gonna be playing recovery tdm which is a little bit more spacious i'll be using an assault rifle at this particular moment hello the evil mr ham Hayden, good to see you. Uh, hope you do enjoy the stream. Hayden's editing a video for me, uh, the first in a new series, mind you. Hello, Fireside Lemons. Good to see you, too. Joseph Whelan, uh, let's see. If we had any new subscribers pop up? Yes, I don't know why they're not popping up. Uh, Salinci BTCH, Mustn't Be Consumed, Ben Gunder, Austin Bryant, and Viper have subscribed. Let me check my alert box to make sure that the subscriber notifications are coming through because they're supposed to be. Um, yeah, okay, so the subscriber notifications are coming through. I'm probably just not reading them because I'm too distracted with so many different things right now. I'm going to retweet Reverend Schmitty, who tweeted me out. We are going to go with the uh, BAL Obsidian Steed. Old and OP. That guy has a, a, like a Spartan shield on his back. Oh, God. Uh, this, I did not pay attention for too long there. What, you come on down here? You want to come? Nope. All right. So there's going to be dudes around here. Good old Obsidian Steed. Uh, you can always depend on that one. Take that AK-12 custom. Also enjoy that gun. Ah, yes, the bow. The super fair weapon that is in no way over... Wait, was that a Sten up there? I want to get these new guns. Yep, okay, let's try the Sten. Let's see what this one's all about. I don't even know what attachments he's got on it, but for me, that's going to be fine. Oop, okay, I'm out of place. By a lot out of place, unfortunately, so... Oh, that's, this is a spray gun for sure, and that was <laughs> very uh, questionable hit detection, but that's okay. Tends to be, and I'm not speaking from any sort of random experience or, or something that I don't like, no secret data here, but I'm pretty sure that servers are continually downgraded 
over time. Like, I don't know if you noticed, like, after uh, AW, I mean, IW came out, like, Black Ops 3 servers went downhill, and pretty much all the game servers continue to uh, decline because there's just generally less servers and less to connect to as games progress through their life cycle. Okay, there's that one, and I was way too deep in their spawn. I haven't played TDM in forever. Uh, trying not to miss any of these notifications, but I'm almost certain that I am missing them when new people subscribe. Sorry about that, guys. I gotta get better at this. I wish there was a program where I could mix inputs and overlay... I forgot I had a silencer on this particular gun. Oh, no, come on! Oh, what did I get hosed by? What is that thing? The pay Oh, yeah, the Pyatek. The gun that becomes perfectly accurate after only a couple of shots, the... Curiously, so... And I am at a very bad elevation advantage. Team is starting to slip now. As I begin to slip, so doth the team. So let's see uh, what we've got here. Mm -mm -mm. Not making it happen. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Blaze Gaming, Chris Yall, and Jake Daniel. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Let's go back to the regular chat. Cryvex says, hey, Drift, do you want to stream Titanfall 2? Actually, that sounds kind of fun. I like Titanfall. That's one of the games I feel the most guilty about this season, because generally I, I really did enjoy Titanfall 2, and you'll say, but Drifter, if you enjoyed it, why aren't you streaming it? It just got washed in the lost of all these games, honestly very good ones that came out at a very similar time, and I can choose to only play or stream so many games. Titanfall just kind of got bumped down a little bit, I just wasn't doing it. I earned a UF. Oh yeah, I forgot that I need to equip all these things. And Okay. Because the killstreak points are part of your uh, kit here. Which I didn't think that was a very good idea in general. That definitely could have been improved. Okay, so... Oop, they were behind me. Because what ended up happening is most people, myself included, uh, will obviously choose to not have killstreaks so that we can have more perks. I think I'm going to be able to... Oh boy. Okay. So that's where some wall running would have been nice. Because the... The thing I want to kill is right around the corner. Was around the corner. Okay, one of my teammates picked it up. We do have a UAV, but they have a Warbird, so... It's got that support UAV life going on. Mm-mm-mm. Hold up, there was a gun over here. STG-44. I love this one. Not so much the sight that I've got. Um, yeah. But the gun itself is pretty fantastic, in my opinion. It's kind of like the <laughs> version... <laughs> of the AK-47 that you want to get. I'm going to take a chat question in just a second so you guys can go ahead and start loading up your questions. I'm carrying at 12 to 11, which is definitely not ideal. You guys, like, again, I haven't played in a really long time. You're going to have to give me a minute to kind of get good and get my skills back, but I will pick it back up and I will start playing better as we continue today. There we go. Don't want the H-bar. Didn't really enjoy that one when the game was going on. Somebody says, Roar like a lion. and eh, not really sure about that one. Okay, so... <clears throat> oh, crap. Oh, yeah, the map is transitioning. So we've either got to finish the game, which the enemies are most likely... Oh, I wanted to get a pound on him. I'm going to steal your package just because I can if I don't get killed by the Pytech again. Such a strange weapon. I just want to steal this... As Teammate still smoke. Yeah, there we go. This one's the money maker here. This is such. I wish I had this on the PlayStation 4. Such a dope gun. Just kind of. I wish there was. You know, what I wish there was. I'm gonna go ahead and, and and play this game. Right. A unified Call of Duty account. Because right now I have, uh, like, for instance, Advanced Warfare here. I have split between PlayStation 3 and Xbox One because I was still on the Xbox One train when this game came out. What I wish I could do though. Come on, come through here. I know you want to. What I wish I could do, though, is have, like, one particular Call of Duty account. So, whoa, where'd he go? He went straight up. That's another issue, the bouncing. If I had, let's say, a Call of Duty account where I could link all of my loot to one unified account so that no matter what Call of Duty game I went to, and I could just boot that up and play it, uh, and, or play with that particular gear, not only would it just make life easier for me, but it would make my loot that much more valuable if I knew that it was, you know, more permanent and not just, ah, uh, you know, it's, it's good for this game and this system and this tag. If I could just link it to one online account, that would be pretty great in my opinion. 
And I know this gun kick this gun's a weird one. It kicks like a mule and then doesn't kick at all. Done snuck! Haven't seen you in a long time. Mike Dodd says, Drift, you doing any akimbo SMG in today? Almost certainly I got a uh, energy shotgun in the face. Very cool camo he has there, too. Or was that invisibility? A little difficult to tell these days. Ended up making that one a little closer than I expected. Let's see. Looking at some stuff. Trying to take some chat questions. I will call out subscribers as well. Gang Gang Chrome has subscribed along with Sports Vlogger, Grave Destroyer, and uh, those are the new subscribers. Can't keep them up live. Uh, do -do -do -do. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Frame rate, yeah, that has to do with the servers and it's trying to like sync things together. Weeboo says, Che Drifter, do you think the actual creators of the new COD feel bad that Activision as a developer forces them to add supply drops? Uh, Weeboo, this is not something that I can speak on out of personal experience because, oh man, I gotta just clear out my armory. <laughs> All right, um, redeemable loot. Uh, how do I sort this? by type okay there's a lot of so this is another one that could be yeah we'll just delete this one i gotta delete some things uh, i don't you know work in an office i don't know what it's what it's all about and, and, and that life so to speak so i can't tell you for certain what developers do and don't feel about loot i just missed the subscriber dag um let me go ahead and read that one out while I answer the question. Uh, Nikita, Nikita Smith, Good. JRK, Exidri, and Rez, Rasmus Kunz has subscribed. I do get that sense. Uh, I got it especially just feels from Treyarch last year, how they designed their game. And it seemed like the so try, supply drops were kind of shoehorned in on them. I kind of didn't get that impression with Advanced Warfare. I kind of got the feeling that this one was designed around loot from the beginning. Garrett Klein has subscribed. I do kind of get that impression about the supply drops being paid, along with GMATI210. Thank you for subscribing, because they started out free and you just earn them in-game. Javier Hurtado, good to see you. IW, you can definitely kind of sense some meddling, especially with their first big content drop. There was a lot of content coming very, very rapidly. Most notably, the new guns, and we'll do the Akimbo SMGs for you guys, uh, because that was requested. So there almost certainly is some degree of, uh, we shall say, fuckery, of there being some interference, right? How much and what it is, and I just got deleted by the IMR, which is a fantastic gun that was underrated for the majority of uh, Advanced Warfare. There almost certainly is exactly the specifics of who said what and how it panned out and what they wanted and things like that. I cannot speak on, truly, because I just don't know. Uh, if I did know, I would tell you. I'm basically playing a Kimbo Scorpion simulator right now, so I gotta go prone for a second and hide. Okay, they're gonna be out here somewhere. I'm gonna go higher rather than lower. That's just the general thing you want to do with this game, or pretty much any advanced movement game, is you want to go higher rather than lower. So yeah, I mean, Activision as a, as a publisher definitely does have some content controls. And yeah, the studios also have content controls as well. And this, the next thing I'm gonna say is just purely based on, um, mostly rumor to be perfectly honest with you, because it's not even something I know is a hard fact. But I'm pretty sure... I think this guy went around the back right. Yep. Oh. Perfect. I will take your custom IMR and use that. That the uh, pub, uh, that the developers, like, say, Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, Track, whatever, get royalties from their... Oh, that is a lot of mess. I don't know what the Strider even does from their game. So they definitely do have some incentive to sell supply drops as well. The more royalties they earn, the more money they make. So that's that's my understanding of it. Could be wrong, could be totally off, um, but that's that's the impression that I get from these sort of things. Is that a custom? Is that a human-controlled one? I'm, about, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of getting slammed out here, because this guy's probably going to camp by his... Oh, got picked off by that super dirty IMR again. Javier Hurtado says, how many lows could Rob Low rob if Rob Low could rob lows? Well... Oh, that is very cool. I am fairly confident that Rob Lowe could rob a great variety of Lowe's. He's uh, physically fit, famous, so it would be very easy for him to get in the door. Sorry, nerd. <laughs> I am stealing a Goliath. 
And I'm gonna get shot in the back. Okay. <laughs> Tried to blunderbuss me. What do we got? Missiles? Nothing. Self-destruct? Alright. This is not a customized Goliath. What I need to do is get inside a little area where I can I can make this thing work. Oh god, it's so... That's another thing that I wanted to be better about this game. I wanted the Goliaths to be better. I think Infinity War did a better job with their, their we'll call them Juggernauts in general. Both for Ghost, all the new Juggernauts were really fun. The Predator, Michael Myers, Maniac Juggernaut was bananas, but it was fun. And even in their new game, the RC8 killstreak, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, not perfect, it's, it suffers from some of the same problems, but is overall quite good. If you're going to build like a big tanky thing, it needs to have a lot of health. And I think what happened here is that a lot of people, myself included, go really cheap on the kill streaks. They consider it more important to earn them, period, than it is to add the extra points, points and like earn the good ones. So, oh man, that guy wasn't a body, was he? He was not a body. Mark 14 Sport, all these variants I'm trying to remember. Agitated Dog, nice to see you. And so if you go cheap on the kill streaks, you get them, but they're not like great. Like the Goliath could have had, I think there was a dude down here. The Goliath, there he is, Dag Nabbit. They're all over the place, <laughs> killing me with Kimbo pistols. Okay, so the Goliath could have had, um, it, if I'm not mistaken, it could have had a uh, built-in trophy system, and it could have had a, that's this is a crazy gun. Let's see if we can use the Mark 14. Nope. It could have also had uh, rocket launchers. I think there's a more health mode or a faster call-in or, or something like that. It could have had a lot of nicer things, but the person that called it in chose not to um, do that. There's a very nice pick right there. I'm going to go ahead and call in the UAV to help out my teammates. And who shot me? Oh, the same guy, Mark 14 spot. Yeah, AW kind of reminds me a lot more of MWR in the fact that when you get an angle on somebody, you get picked pretty hard. We have a request for XMGs next from Agitated Dog. Uh, I might do that. I might make like one like joke class that I run XMGs on. I don't think I have the XMG variants that I, I like to use, but I'll see what I can do. Um, somebody says, how can Drifter find open lobbies? Uh, it, I didn't do anything special. I just booted it up and hit match and TDM, which is the most common mode in the game. Uh, I do have a net Duma, which makes it easier for me to get good connections for the most part. However, in, in theory, it should actually make it somewhat more difficult for me to get a match because I've got my locations restricted and my ping restricted and a lot of overall restrictions going on. This was fun as shit. I like how they drop a building in the middle of the map. Uh, you know, it's not perfect. I like, it's a little... Come on. Okay, you have to do it. Ah! No, I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work, but when the, they put a mounted machine gun there, you just have to use it. I remember playing this with uh, Merc and Clayster. And my callouts were, they're at the Bottle Factory. And they're like, what the hell is the Bottle Factory? Where's the Bottle Factory? What are you talking about? Give me some of your drugs. They sound very good. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a good feature. Just spamming all over the place here. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta get good. Killing you with the Kimbo guns. Where's your gun? I need a, I need a longer range gun because they're out here. Kind of long range. Or are they in the building? They're in the building. Okay, so if they're in the building, all you gotta do is go in the bottom of the building, get your akimbos and your melees ready. Ooh, I want the AMR9 banger. This was such a stupidly fun gun. Come on. Yes! No noob tubes for you. Do I have a grenade? Oh yeah, I don't. When you pick up a gun, you don't pick up the grenade launcher ammo that comes with it. It's okay. AMR9 was just kind of fun for me. It was never really like great, but it was fun. Yeah, Bottle Factory just missed a new subscriber. Uh, I'll see what I have in the way of XMGs. Let me read out all the new subscribers that I've gotten recently here. Let's see. Uh, subscribed, we have I Love Ohio 2002, Mr. Chief, It's Always Me, Croissant Gaming, Flashfire, Corey Argonti Cools, Chris the Quadratic Attenuator, very clever name, uh, Uday Paul, and Rice Fines. Rice Fines? Rice Fines? Rice Fines? I, I don't even know. Um. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I've got a lot more drops, but what I have to do, though, is go to the armory and just... I have to keep deleting loot between games. So actually, what I need to do is create a class. So you guys wanted to see... Um, XMGs. Uh, heavy weapons. XMG. I have the XMG bread and butter, which is the super high fire rate ones. 
And I have no attachments whatsoever for these, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, I guess I have more score streaks I can put on here. Uh, I can make this a support package. Uh, support, and I like double tap personally. And we can also run, in case I'm getting squirrely, let's put on another Goliath, and let's make it a beefy Goliath. Uh, homing rockets. I'll put this on in a trophy system. Let's just make it a 925 Goliath. Very unlikely that I'll get that high, but we'll see what we've got going on. Uh, if we have time, which I may not, time to go to the armory, redeemable loot, uh, type, so that I can just continue to delete some of these things. Four out of eight free slots, goodness gracious. Okay, dashboard. New subscribers, Schwasi Laron and Flash Weep. Thank you guys for subscribing. Let me take some chat questions. Drift, specialist in COD 2017, wouldn't really bother me one way or the other, uh, depending, I'm not hard against or for specialist, it just kind of depends on how they're made and how they're balanced. I think that the Black Ops 3 specialists were very nice, yeah, some of them were strong, don't get me wrong, but they made sense, they were easy to recognize, Faneuil Laurent says this is his third favorite Call of Duty, I don't have hover on, so I'm not going to be able to hover this, but I, I should be able to, I wish I had a laser sight, that would make it more fun. Um, mm -hmm. Got a hit on him. <laughs> oh, the most... The most ridiculousness. Up oh, here we go. I found somebody. He's running down. Oh, I missed. The fire should burn me. I want to be burned. <laughs> Ah, uh, this game. It had a lot of flaws, but man, the guns were, were just kooky enough for me. I don't, I don't know if everybody really liked all these crazy guns. I really did. The goofiness of them was very appealing for me as a guy who does gun stats a lot. Just the unique things I found entertaining. Not all of them were what we would say are competitive weapons, but they can be quite amusing. The heart is the strongest Just got a donation muscle. coming in. I hear it coming through. Zithos donated $10. Lots of text there. I'm not going to be able to read that until I get like a spare moment here. Uh, but I do intend to read it uh, shortly. As soon as I can get a moment where I'm not... I guess a moment where I am dead, which is where I not, don't really want to be, but... To read a message, that's where you need to be. Uh, let's see, I'm going to stay down here. I kind of want to get up close to him. If I'm not really close to somebody with this, then I'm not doing very much good. Uh, people having questions, asking if they can join. Normally, I say no, because stream joining gets kind of annoying. Uh, but today, I'm feeling squirrely. If you guys want to join in, just go ahead and do that. Just saw some people running by, and I think we uh, just split the spawns up a bit. Let's see if I can catch somebody over here. Yeah, he's up top, so he's probably not looking for... Uh, where'd he go? Dang it. So many people, so little time. Ah, you are mm, right up behind me. Okay, let's check out the donation from Zithos. He says, uh, What's up, Drifter? Glad to see the Advanced Warfare stream today. Wish I could have made it to PAX East to meet you. But I didn't have the money to make it out there. That's okay, man. You plan on doing a fan meetup sometime in New Mexico in the future. Unfortunately, I am not currently planning a New Mexico fan meetup. I have absolutely nothing against the state of New Mexico or the fine people that live there. Oh, mm, that's this guy with his with his Grok. His, his, his little, his a snappy, like, fast-firing Grok. Grok's getting me pretty good. However, uh, most of the fan meetups I do are basically just uh, in areas where there is a coinciding gaming event. If I'm going to E3, if I'm going to COD Champs, COD XP, you know, something. So I think these guns are better just not when they're locked down. Probably like super dirty on PC. Just you know, something like that. And there are, as far as I'm aware, no gaming events in New Mexico anytime soon that I plan to be attending. Uh, once again, I don't have anything against you guys, but it's, it's in, in no way financially beneficial for me to travel to do fan meetups. Uh, and, and I wish it were not true, but many times the videos are not very well received. A lot of times they, um, uh, people come in from other channels to kind of hate on my fans and say stupid stuff like that. Not everybody's able to make it. It's kind of weird doing YouTuber fan meetups. I love doing them. 
but I totally get the reasons why you know people don't just come out uh, in the hundreds. That only happens in really big cities, Boston, LA, stuff like that. Singapore was the craziest fan meetup. I had like 120 people there just screaming and cheering. The government got all mad because they said it counted as a political rally. I disagreed. Uh, almost ended up getting barred from re-entry to Singapore because of that decision. Okay, let's call this one in. Uh, oh, there's a dude right here. Oh my gosh! This dude with the AMR9 banger is getting me so good. The heart is the strongest in muscle. Care package. Uh, but yeah, so whenever I do go to New Mexico, if for whatever event, whatever company, whatever thing, I'll take that. Uh, that one actually has all the stuff on it, so I need to get... I want to get elevated with the Goliath. Somewhere elevated and safe, which I don't think there's lots of safe spaces around at the moment. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is not a safe space. This is not a safe space. This is not a safe space. Come on. You dirty! Alright. Why is it not hitting him? There we go. That's what you get for stealing my Goliath armor. When I weakened him, guys, finish this man off, or I'll do it for you. Ooh, got shot. Uh, Reverend Schmitty says, I hope you have a local one here in DFW. That's always kind of one of the things that I'm procrastinating. I kind of want to have one at Madness Games and Comics, uh, which is local to me in Plano. It's a very easy place to meet up. But I think I would end up having to pay for that one, because uh, you have to, like, rent the space and stuff. So it's, again, not quite as easy as meeting in a park or something like that. But yeah, I definitely love my fans and stuff. Let's see what we've got going on. Kylo Ren subscribed, Sergio Romero, and I'm Vicious Cat. We also got a donation from Jeff Fales. Fales, Fales, Fales. I, I always say it many different ways because I'm not sure how you want to pronounce it. Oh, get unlocked. There we go. Keep on a hosing, keep on a flying. Just chill for a second. I know they're above me, but they will probably come down like that. Oh, they got to drop right behind me. He says, hey, Drifter, just wanted to say I really like your Overwatch videos. I know it's not the most viewed on your channel, but I wanted to tell you that I enjoy them and I look forward to more of them. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I, too, enjoy my Overwatch videos. One of the primary reasons that I make them. Oh, no. The Blunderbuss, another really ridiculous gun that can be quite fun. If you don't mind the five second <laughs> reload time after every single shot. Um, oh, I got kill streaks. I got a call in here. I'm probably making these guys super tilted. Most people tend not to appreciate the, uh, the XMGs. Sniper drone, worst one in the game. Go ahead and call that in. Oh man, what are these little guys? These little guys are like... Heh <laughs> These things tilt people off the face of the earth really hard. The heart is the strongest Probably muscle. gonna die soon. <laughs> this is a lot like the little uh, helicopter in MW3. Just got a AZ199999, just donated $10, which I will read momentarily. The enemy picked up the sniper drone somehow, which if I sit still, I might actually get killed by it. The sniper drone was one of those map-specific kill streaks that just didn't quite work out. It just wasn't what it was really supposed to be. Let me just... Oh, no, the blunderbuss! One of my favorite guns that I wish I had unlocked. I gotta unlock more... Uh, stuff in between games, or sorry, delete more things so that I have more space. Uh, AZN, AZ, 1999, 9 says, uh, you may, it's a $10 donation, quite a big one actually, thank you for that. It says, you may have already answered this. Yeah, that's one thing I don't need as a strike. Uh, what did you think of the COD4 Pro Mod, and would you like to see something like that in Infinite Warfare? Well, AZ-1999-9, I think Infinite Warfare's version of that was roughly the same as their, uh, what was it? 
Tactical TDM. Tactical TDM was a lot like ProMod with the lower health and the slightly different gun balance and uh, things of that nature. So it would not surprise me to see something like it uh, coming up, but it, it essentially is already there. Hmm. I need to go to Dag Nabbit, Redeemable Loot. I did like COD 4 Pro Mod. It had some, it had some flaws in that it was a little bit restrictive on the weapons you could choose, but it also ensured that you just didn't have like a whole team of snipers or a whole team of the same guns. It was very much so like Counter Strike. I believe that Pro Mod at the time was competing with the original Counter Strike League. Uh, I forget what was the original Counter Strike League. I competed in it at one point. A super old one. Um, it was like back when clans were a big thing. Let me just open up some supply drops. Oh, I guess I'm not going to have time. Maybe I'll just delete a few more things that I don't need. Since I'm only going gingerbread for life. Um, but I do think that competitive infinite warfare could be played in Team Tactical. And it would be very interesting. And competitive, ultimately, I, I used to have this belief. And I still do in, in, an, ex in, in an extent... Uh, Dylan Moss says AW's cutscene graphics were ahead of their time. Certainly aesthetics were very nice. That a public match should resemble a competitive match in some way. And I got shit on by this a lot by the competitive Call of Duty community saying that all these YouTubers are trying to force us to play pubs. And uh, so I'm using the suppressed IMR. It regenerates ammo and it has... It's just suppressed by default, so it should be kind of fun. And I think I don't think it was that the YouTubers were trying to force the pros to play pubs, but rather we, we could kind of see the value that the competitive scene, I mean, it was especially true during Ghost, and, um... Oh, what do we got? Uh, he didn't even drop his gun. And Black Ops 2, it kind of got nutty with the bans. That it didn't even resemble. Like, you were playing competitive with all LMGs banned, all shotguns banned, no kill streaks, and it was just so incredibly different that... It didn't... What is this thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> the Lynx. Oh, boy. And I think Jessica, my wife, started playing Advanced Warfare using the Lynx. And she... Yeah, she, she about pitched a fit. Anyway. And I do not believe that competitive should be played with pubs rules. Things like UAV and counter UAV, which ended up being uh, included in Black Ops 3 for a little bit with the Band Protect system. Uh, and then later reverse the permaban since all people did was ban them Should be removed. There's some things in competitive that don't need to resemble public matches, but at the same time Competitive can't get so far away from public matches that it just has nothing to do whatsoever with them And if there's no way for the average player to ever experience e even something resembling a competitive match there's no reason for them to watch competitive or understand it. It makes it very difficult for you to build a new audience. So I want the public matches to... Oh, this is a good gun. I want the public and competitive matches to have some semblance to each other so it's easier to build the fan base when people come in and they're just like checking out competitive COD on Twitch. Like if they want to play that, they can go home and do that. And that's one of the things I think made Black Ops 2 so popular is that League Play was very similar to competitive. Not perfect, not the same, but similar enough to where it wasn't like a big deal between the two. You got hammered. And uh, Advanced Warfare started out really good like that. The first uh, couple weeks, maybe month or so of AW, we had competitive matches that were very, very... Oh, I'm sorry, we had a ranked playlist, uh, and it was very much so like the competitive MLG stuff at the time. The thing that really messed it up is I don't believe the playlist got updated at, uh, up to MLG rules very often. And due to the nature of being online and this being the first time they had to manage loot, they allowed all variants in competitive. So dude, the RNG system could guarantee that some teams got better guns than others, which is inherently not competitive. And once the pros... I have a, I have a gun with one bullet. Great. Once the pros stopped playing it, then it just started going downhill. Like, once once they were no longer interested, it was Bad News Bears. And that, and it kind of started a downhill climb, unfortunately. So that's, that's all my opinions on it. I'm trying to articulate it on the fly here. I'll do better eventually, I swear. I don't know why it's just spraying there, hoping to get lucky, basically. There we go. ASM1 Magnitude. 
fairest gun in the game. It's, uh, one of the ones with the extra range. Apollo Addo says, Hi Drifter, I'm sick at home right now and your stream is really cheering me up. Just something about watching someone play COD who's actually good at it. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, glad you think I'm good at Call of Duty. I'm used to taking L's and people all that say I'm bad. I, I try not to be bad. I try to, I try to have nice, fun, entertaining streams. I try not to be the guy that just goes for, like, wicked, crazy uh, kill-death ratios and just kind of spams up all the kill streaks and hides in the back of the map and stuff. I like to take challenging guns, unique situations, uh, talk a little trash sometimes. Just have a little bit of fun. I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, King Robinson says, will you play Overwatch today? Honestly, I might not even play Overwatch today. The current plan is to play Lawbreakers, Battlefield, Call of Duty, of course, both MWR and this. I, I am... Whoop. I re rolled a recon drone for a recon drone. That's awesome. But I, m I might be able to make a difference here. I'm going to die. Certainly. I don't know if this stuns them or not like it used to. Trying to hit this one guy forever. One guy I've been trying to tag kills my teammates. I'm McLovin' that. Recon drone is pretty dirty, though. I, li I like how you can tag people. <laughs> Enjoy being on radar, kids. A melee custom. Oh, man. I love the hipfire Amelie in this game. I forget whatever the name of that variant was, but it was so redonkulous. I really enjoyed it. I thought this was a pretty good version of the scanning site as well. Okay, so he's got a silencer and the uh, highlight everybody in red optic. <laughs> oh, that Amelie fun. But no, anyway, back on track. So, but the thing you need, not necessarily, is to force pros to, pe to play pubs or that pubs and pro matches have to be the same thing. But you at least need a mode where people can more or less play that. What are you doing up here, dude? Get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just spraying at you. You'll probably die, though. And I think that what could be cool is that's you get that you see that in League of Legends and Counter Strike and a lot of other esport games is that they have a standard even even uh, Overwatch which is the game I've got the big boner over right now is they've got quick play they've got uh, skirmish they've got uh, you know normals or whatever and then they have ranked in its own special playlist with the rules being slightly tweaked it's well explained it's public muscle. everybody can jump in and participate and in almost all of these games the players that uh, hit the highest rank or e oh you jumped up you tricked me yep oh i got tricked so bad once you hit high enough elo you can just hop that you can get invites to pro teams literally through grinding it out online and becoming the best i think that's a fantastic system and i don't think it's fantastic just because the games i like are using it but you can clearly see that it's the successful system like all the the popular games the cool kids are doing it right so there, there is definitely value there Oh, I missed. I wanted to get that slam in. Uh, Mike Dodd. So I know this game by heart because of your guides. Well, thank you, man. And check out, I just, I missed a bunch of subscribers and a big fat $20 donation. So I'm going to read all the subscribers and donations right now. Aqua Gaming. Colin Reinhardt. Probably Grant. That could actually be Reinhardt Reinhardt. No, he's an old man in Overwatch. Bro Gamer, Adam Raza, Shane Mapes, Callum Ninja TV, David Brent, Zeptic12, Naf9603, and Bink Rage have all subscribed. Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. And Logan Therens donated 20 big dollars on PayPal. Wanted to say thank you for that. Says, longtime fan, keep up the good work. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I intend to keep up the good work. It's been a little challenging, light now, right? Uh, it's been a little bit challenging right now because I'm traveling a lot, but I, I am trying my very best to keep up the content, to keep it all flowing. And what I wanted to know from you guys, the chat right here, right now, is... I'm getting all these bloodshed helmets and stuff. Do you guys like the Throwback Thursday idea? Come on, gun! Ah, oh, just those stupid clothing. Do you guys like this Throwback Thursday idea of going and streaming, you know, older Call of Duty games, out-of-cycle CODs, and just 
having a little fun with it. Doesn't matter, just kind of yellowing it. You know, could do obviously Black Ops 2 is very popular. Could do uh, COD, maybe not original COD 4, MW2, MW3. We could do, oh man, we could do Ghost even. I could do Ghost on 360 if you're feeling brazen, but I'd much rather do it on PS4 or Xbox One. Just something like that. So, uh, Bill Yarday says, How can I donate without paying $3.99 a month? The very first link in the description is a donation link, but I want to be very clear with everybody here that donations, sponsorships, all of that stuff is 100% optional super chats all these sort of things and i think as uh, we had some new subscribers coming in uh her uh herman hernandez kill switch morris prickerts and alex park thank you for subscribing the perception is that i stream for tips and donations and while that is definitely true for people that do it on twitch youtube gaming is entirely different faniel laurent good to see you seems like we have an overwhelming yes for this throwback thursday guys i'm gonna try to snipe okay you guys are going to have to bear with me. Most of you on the channel know that sniping is not my strong suit at all. But I'm going to try to make it work here today. That was a bad matchup. That was literally the gun that's designed to kill me. So I'm going to see what I can get going on. I like... This is my favorite sniper rifle. This, what? Come on. Come on. No. Okay. So this this gun here is just the sex machine. This... Mmm, this RW1, one of my all-time favorite COD guns. Even got a nice 3D printed model of it from Do Money. Mmm, give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my skills back. Not only do I rarely snipe in COD games, but this one being one of the most difficult ones of all time to snipe in. So you're gonna have to give me a little bit of patience. Yeah, but throwback is good. I probably just stick with COD for now because I own all the COD games, which is a uh, that's a good start for throwbacks, right? Need to find somebody to shoot first. Shut up, kid. There's another kid down. Nobody's out here. So that means they're probably going to spawn on this side. Yep. Missed. I whooped it. This is basically a sniper pistol, so I think this counts. Oh no, but you get shot in the back. Sniper and sniping an AW boo drifter's crazy. Yeah, basically. This game this is a this is a crazy hard game to snipe in. I like the moors that I don't have to reload it, but I do gotta admit that this is not your um, ideal sniper game. It's there's very high velocity movements, lots of um, idle sway on the snipers. It's very doable in that you can aim down sights quickly and... No, I hit his leg! Oh, gosh! And things like that. But it's challenging. Uh, <laughs> it's very challenging. Okay. For a second, I've been playing so much Battlefield, I was like, I'm gonna spot this guy. I'm gonna use my spot feature and tag him. Okay. And I'm gonna let you know, my, my confidence in my quickscoping ability is poor at best, so I'm gonna be going almost exclusively for pistol kills. When the challenge comes up, when it's time to do that, it's gonna be pistol time. Got a nice... Uh, see, I'm getting better at this. RW1 only? Oh, you got... That would make me too happy. That would, that would make me too happy. I'm not gonna do that. That's not challenging enough for this stream. I do like that I can snipe and then just get right back out of trouble. That is a super nice... Uh, side effect of the exosuits. The other side effect being that everybody's super hard to hit and they can do the same thing. Uh, I kind of wish I had an ACOG, but an ACOG sways like crazy. I'm gonna get good at this in a second, guys. You just watch. These guys aren't exactly brilliant enemies, so... Oh, no, that's what I should have... I should have ground pounded! I forgot that was a thing. It's been so long. Ground pounds are hella fun, though. So let's see if I can come up here. Okay, we're gonna... Ooh, yes! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint in. I think I should be able to swap. Okay. Whoops! Jumped up above and down on me. A little less of that. We're going boots on the ground next year. So there'll be too much of that. I think this game's a real good changeup for Call of Duty. I said it at the time. Everybody said I was a cod cocksucker and, and you know that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, people wanted innovation and they gave us innovation. I think the issue was is just more innovation than everybody was really prepared to handle at the time. Oh, I'm getting so many melees on this uh, sniping section of my stream. <laughs> so I'm so, <laughs> so bad at sniping. Uh, oh, eight and fourteen. I need to. I need to stop going for fancy ass snipes and just 
hold back and shoot people. Got a hit marker. Never, never a fan of hit markers. Mm, 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 mm. I do remember this game being very assault rifle friendly in that if you have a sniper rifle and you're facing off... Ooh, that was a lot of lag. Facing off against an enemy with an AR, then especially the IMR in particular, then the, the advantage is just all of them. Okay, so the map is now transitioning, so it's time for me to move to the other side of the map. Jonathan Bush says he's having an issue with the message. I, I hope that isn't the case. I'm not trying to give anybody issues with messages here or send mixed messages or mixed signals. Oof. I'm going to get sniper ruined. I need to escape and survive. Okay. I'm gonna sit right here because they. Oh no! I was expecting him to run in, but he was already in. All right. Okay. That was a dude right around here. Uh huh. Right around there. There's the dude. Uh, Music man says, "Oh how I want to one v one you in sniping." I think everybody does that. That's the, that's the Call of Duty thing. It's like one v one me, bro. Quick scopes only. That determines who's good. This crazy game. It's like, man, you're not a real man unless you want to 1v1 snipe me, bruh. <laughs> Which I'm terrible at, so I never do those. Oh, I actually got a regular quickscope in. See, look. Th there's there's some inklings of talent hiding in these fumbly fingers of mine. We're going to keep on going. I'm going to get some people here. Even if, if I got a terrible KDR this game, which I do, every time I get one of those kills, it's incredibly satisfying, and they're behind me. Dang, nab it. Drifter, more like Pomage, not exactly. Pomage would be like, Kapew, dead, Kapew, dead, Kapew, five guys dead, all running in a row. And you think Pomage is just all bullshit, right? Like, he's not really that the good. He just shows certain clips. Muscle. No, I'm telling you, Pomage is super legit. He's probably my least favorite person to play against, because he just uh, murders everybody with a sniper rifle. It's so super duper unfun. Okay, well, I got that. I'm Mika donated $5. Saw the donation, man. Give me just a second here, and I will read it probably as soon as I'm dead, which ain't gonna be long, because this dude right here has a shotgun up in my face. I wonder if he knows that I've got a care package. I want something better. Come on. That's better. Oh, shotgun again. Okay. So let me see, uh, my team's losing. I don't think I've won a game yet. This one is actually a million percent my fault. But I'm going to go ahead and call in the Vulcan. Vulcan Nashio says, hey Drifter, do you have that Make-A-Wish XO? And the answer is, I a million percent do have that Make-A-Wish XO. And I'm still using it right now. It's still great. All the dudes are under underground, so I'm not really doing anything. But putting on an electric light show. Oh, come on. Yes. Uh, okay, well at least I know where he's at, which is over here. Bum, 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 bum. I might go back to Dom in a little bit, but I don't think the match quality is going to be as good due to less people playing it, and I'm definitely more likely to run into, like, big, like, pub stomping teams. That was a garbage shot on a dude not even paying attention. I, that's, that's like a career ender right there, guys. There we go. See, I'm making up for it. I will make up for it eventually. What do we got going here? Oh, thank you. Teammates saved me, but it was not enough. face sprat all the way. No, no, no. Uh, sniping, not my, um... Not my number one skill set. So let me see here. I have missed several subscribers. I'll call out. Blade Stevens, Vince LaFlower, Mohamed Kafil, Ahmed Ahbumer. I'm trying to say that right. William Gregory and Esco Eskimo. Hey, Ozzy, you're a good boy. Uh, Imika says, hey, Drifter, Imika has a suggestion. How about making first impression videos of different games on your channel? I don't think anybody would hate that you post something else from time to time. I'd love to see, hear your views on different games like Horizon Zero Dawn. Imika, you're very close. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm petting my doggo over here. You're very close to something that I've been planning or working on for some time now. I wanted to... Uh, do a series. I'm going to call what is blank game, right? And uh, what is this? Let's use a regular EM1. And what I'm going to do is essentially just review that game. And it's uh, I've got two coming up. I've got what is Dreadnought and I have what is Lawbreakers. 
And I'm going to stick with multiplayer because I feel my channel is much more multiplayer focused. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Ozzy's a good doggo. He wants attention right now because nobody's given him attention. So I'm going to do that multiplayer games only for the most part instead of single player. Corrupt Gaming. Haven't seen you in a long time, buddy. Or Dream and Cyrus. Saw you yesterday. Corrupt Gaming says, Sup, Brad. How goes things? And Rishi Sabaya has subscribed. Things are going pretty good. Having a lot of fun here. Playing this good old uh, Advanced Warfare today on Throwback Thursday. Just kind of having a fun stream. Oh my god, Ozzy, you're making the cutest faces. You're basically a living meme. Who is our cutie patootie? Who is a cutie patootie? You're a good dog. All right, can't pet the dog forever. Got to get back on it. What do you expect for the gameplay for the next Call of Duty? Uh, given that it's boots on the ground, I'm honestly going to expect something... Probably more like Modern Warfare Remastered, but maybe with like the knee sliding added in from uh, Ghost or uh, Black Ops. Well, Black Ops Two had the one had the dolphin diving and stuff. I would expect. I don't know what this guy's going on about. I, I hate the mics when they do that. All right, so I don't have the one that deals the extra damage, but I do have this one, which is still fun. It's literally a laser, guys. Okay, literally a laser. Like, I literally fell off the map. And I literally got killed very quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Dudes all look the same. That's my... Some of that's my issue, though. Like, colorblindness makes that very hard. Yes, get cooked. You get cooked. And you get cooked. And you get cooked. And we're just cooking with butter here today. The downside to the M1, as ridiculously fun as this gun was, is that it just doesn't deal a ton of damage. I need my purple laser one. That one's the one that deals the damage, but this one, the fun thing about it is it hip fires so incredibly well. It's weird that it has like a ton of recoil when you're aiming down sights, but the hip fire is so tight, it just like, ouch, got sniped super hard by the moors right there. So like, look at that hip fire versus that kind of drag. It's super fun. Okay, I'd probably flip spawns if I had to bet. So I'm gonna go back over here and go back to lasering kids. Let me get them nice and uh, nice and electrified. I'm gonna warm them up. It's really more like a microwave than it is anything. I'm just gonna pretend that everybody's a hot pocket and I don't want them cold on the outside. I want them cold on the inside and on the out. Sorry, no, warm on the inside and out. Sorry, you never want cold hot pockets. That's just like, that's like the grossest thing on the planet, eating cold hot pockets. Ah, I got a supply drop for dying. See, that's strange. I never figured out how supply drops drop in Advanced Warfare, because they clearly the drop when you do certain muscle. things. Alright, got a donation from Swish coming in. It says, What do you think about the glorious Ron and Rand Paul, and when do you think the next COD will be announced and heavily teased? Okay, two-part question. Swish, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, let me see if I can collect my thoughts. I was a Ron Paul activist uh, back in the day when he did his first and second presidential runs. I did media for him. I worked at the campus groups. I donated money, even though I wasn't exactly rich at the time. Really believed in uh, Ron Paul's message and, and what he was talking about at the time. My political beliefs have changed over time to where they are not as uh, dogmatic as many of uh, the libertarians would enjoy. So I am not 100% on the Ron Paul train. He has, I am old enough now to realize that his philosophy has flaws. And I, I wanted to cook that guy. Most notably, the laissez-faire business or complete deregulation is an absolute nightmare for normal people because it just ends up with a tragedy of the commons. Like, let's be, like, how many of you really trust mega corporations to make decisions that's the best for all parties and not just what makes money? And libertarians would believe that negative externalities or the business decisions, you know, free market kind of works these things out. And I just honestly don't believe that. I think that very large corporations tend to work against the free market. They would much rather have monopolies and rig the free market to their benefit. They would work very hard to create questionable uh, educational or uh, resources for the consumers so that they're less informed than normal. And on top of all of that, my experience has been working, especially advising in college, it burned me really bad. Because I worked advising uh, people that were founding startups. So these aren't like the big bad guy corporate types, these are like little startups that just like, 
they want to be become big. The greed and the amount of decisions that they made uh, that affected many people more than just themselves was absurd, and it it made me sick enough to want to leave the business school. And I'm really hosing these people. It's kind of fun. Mm -mm -mm. So on top of all of that, you the belief about prote American protectionism that Ron Paul wanted to like shut down all the bases, pull back the troops, don't waste money on, on policing the world and stuff. All of that is good and true. It's something that we might should have never done to begin with. Uh, we did it essentially to exploit all these people and take their resources and benefit uh, for our corporations, right? But also to benefit our citizens with a very high standard of living. But then on the flip side of all these things, we've already done it. Like, we've already kind of bullied the world. We've already built these bases. We've already made our enemies. So if we just pull out now and open up, it's going to be incredibly dangerous. And that's not something that I am comfortable with. We've kind of... Uh, we've kind of gone too far, unfortunately, is how I feel about it. There's that. What's next on the Ron Paul train? <clears throat> uh, Rand Paul is a lot like his dad. A lot of beliefs. I, I really don't enjoy that he has chosen to support uh, the Trump team and a lot of more traditional neoconservatives or alternative conservatives that... There you go, a polar vortex. I think this is the one I like. Nope. Oh gosh, he owes me so good. That I don't believe truly reflect the, the value of conservatism as he preaches it. And then the next thing. So we've, we've done a lot there. That was very political. Thank you for that. I'm sure that my, my audience loved it. Uh, the next Call of Duty is probably going to be teased or... I, I doubt there'll be an announcement anytime soon. But it wouldn't surprise me if the teases start sometime in April. And that's not any sort of super secret inside knowledge. It's just that I think Call of Duty has started teasing in April for the last many years now. So I don't see a reason why it wouldn't continue that trend, right? So Call of Duty tease in April. Yep. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, can you even get headshots? I don't think headshots make a difference with this gun. Oh, got shot in the back. I should have noticed that guy. So I'm not going positive. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. I not expecting it anytime soon, but three weeks, a month, something like that, you might see a tease. I bet it's gonna come in the form of like some more like Twitter announcements from Sledgehammer. That's seems to be how they roll. Just cook this guy, stupid, being annoying. Who knows? They might do something crazy. They've also kind of had this thing of announcing games with the other games through like some retroactive DLC. So that is also definitely a possibility, and I think it works really well for height building. I, I'm gonna, the I'm just, I'm just feeling it here. It's not muscle. a got a donation coming in from uh, Swish for three bucks. I'm gonna bet the next Call of Duty gets teased in multiple games because right now you have the community primarily split between Infinite Warfare being the big one. I think Black Ops Three is the second biggest, and then you've got uh, MWR with not the biggest or second, but a still very sizable community. I think this game, this stupid gun, makes me show up on the radar. <laughs> uh, so satisfying. So I would expect to see a multi-game tease. Maybe not all three. Maybe not... Uh, but definitely two of them. That would be my expectation. So we got another donation coming in. I hope to God it's not political, because that just kind of pushes people away. Ayo Ken, Andrew Bowie... And Jet Guerrillas has subscribed, and Captain Stark YouTube says, How do you feel about my boy Teddy? He's from your state. I'm a right-leaning libertarian and great content, by the way. Ted Cruz, I uh, generally don't like. He looks like he wears the face of another human being to pretend to be a person. He's... Uh, I know making fun of his looks is inappropriate. His beliefs are very, I believe, regressive in a lot of ways, uh, especially... You know, calling for the abolishment of the... What is it? He wanted to shut down the Department of Energy. And he doesn't believe in climate change and global warming. And now he is on the board and the anti-gay stuff. It's it's very behind the times. Uh, he, does, he says and does the things that his constituents will love. But I feel that, honest to goodness, it's just plain old uh, behind the times. Huh. So who knows? Maybe things will change sometime in the near future. Got a lot of notifications coming in. Beep, boop, 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 bop, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop. 
Let's see what's going on. Um, hmm, interesting. I'm gonna go back to the chat. I haven't talked to the chat. Hello, Juan. Hello, Crafting Pros HD. Dan Switch. Uh, hello, thank you. Shinobe Shibi says, "Fix the shirt." Oh, come on. I'm not. I have a lot of Shiba shirts. I'm just not wearing it today in particular. Add me on 360. Okay. Uh, is it easy to get a game on PS4? It's definitely easy for TDM. That's not an issue whatsoever. Uh, somebody says, hey, Drifter, Thursday is misspelled in your stream. Please don't tell me that's... Oh, my gosh. I really did it, didn't I? I misspelled Thursday and Throwback Thursday. That is very embarrassing. Okay, let's add a little change and fix that. Thank you, J-Hub. I appreciate it. We have saved that. Oh, stay on the page. It's still saving the changes. What gun have I not used very much? I'll see if I have one of their, like, standard classes. Uh, okay, so I don't really know what... This is, like, their standard SMG class, I guess. Uh, again, this is one that I did not make, so I do not quite know what to expect from it. The KF-5, the first five bullets deal extra damage. Another fun and unique weapon. Lots of unique weapons. They all had, like, little quirks, which I thought was fun. A lot more things, like, from a from a design standpoint, too, you have a lot more things to tune, and not just the, uh, like, if you have more things to tweak, like initial damage, secondary damage, ramp up speed, magazine size, you can do a lot more interesting things than just, um, you know, rate of fire, damage, recoil. You, you've got more tuning options, which you see a lot with Riot games, especially. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Like, Riot Games, all the new champions are really complicated because it gives them more levers to turn and to adjust, and it makes sense. Friendly UAV above. Oh, yes. If I have royalty, I will take that one. I love some royalty in my life. I'll take this one, too. That guy saw me, which means I'm in a bad position. This guy should be coming around the corner. Where are they going? They're out here on the left. Hope he's not behind me. Oh, okay, my teammates are cleaning him up. There's one thing that, that I had a really hard time is keeping track of enemy positioning here. Because with the ability to exo boost around, they just move very quickly, right? So, and when you assume that somebody's going one direction, that just simply might not be the case, and they might exo boost around and fool you, so I have to be super particular about it. I can do high flying, but I've got a very close range weapon, so high flying isn't going to benefit me at the moment. Muhammad Swan, good to see you. It says, Drifter, use the Atlas 45. I think you guys hate me. Atlas 45 was one of the weakest guns in COD history until they buffed it, which got, it got a little better, but it was still very weak. Got a kill with it. I don't know how I got a kill with it, but it happened. Got a dude behind me. Low health. <laughs> it's such a weak, weak noise, too, on the, like, pit, 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 I think that's, that's another big thing about guns, is that the, the sound and models have to match the performance. And, uh, there have been some popular guns that didn't have that for a variety of reasons, but having guns that do have good sound, like the TAC-45 or the, uh, the spaz and just these guns that sound fantastic and that it, I, I even lack the vocabulary to kind of honestly describe how it's that's the hardest thing in the world to shoot down like if you there's no other way to say it and that the feel of the gun should match its performance you should be able to listen to it and look at it and kind of get a good idea of how it's supposed to play that's important andrew jackson says yo drift what do you think about the xbox scorpio well andrew jackson xbox scorpio i think is going to be very good i've heard uh some things about it that some people probably should not have told me but a hundred percent of the things i've i have heard and i mean a hundred percent of the things have been positive i can't say such things were true about the playstation 4 pro and as of right now i'm still on the playstation train still like that one best uh but you know the the negativity surrounding the xbox one when it first launched which uh, I know fans of the console will say was just this sort of media conspiracy PR thing. It's not true. It just had issues. Has not been there about the Scorpio. I've heard nothing but endlessly positive things about the Scorpio. And I cannot wait to... What's up, buddy? To actually experience it on my own. I think E3 is going to be the time for its reveal, if I'm not mistaken. I, I can't say for certain. I want to get... I just ran past an MP40 back here. I want to get it. Oh, I just disappeared. Just disappeared. 
Dylan McLarney says, what real firearms do you own? Uh, in my house, I have uh, two Glocks. I have a Glock 22 Gen 3, which is not 22 caliber. It's a 40 caliber Glock. I personally found it a very nice compromise between 9mm and 45. 9mm being a little weak on the stopping power, uh, high on accuracy. I mean, I really love the low recoil part of it. And the 45 being a little bit heavier on the recoil from my girly gamer hands, as uh, my more manly friends would say. I have a subcompact Glock for concealed carry, 9mm, 7 round magazine capacity. My wife ended up with an MP shield, 9mm, forget the exact specification or generation. Great gun. I have a couple shotguns, uh, no rifles, no ARs, no SMGs, nothing like super crazy like that. That dude fell off the map. Sucks for him. We've got very basic uh, concealed carry and home defense weapons with nothing uh, particularly sophisticated. Yeah, it says Drifter owns the Kimbo miniguns. No, I don't think so. I do believe that if in the near future we have the assault weapons ban being lifted, which is on the menu politically for the next couple of years, that I may end up purchasing an AK. Not an AK-47, not some cheap Romanian SKS, but I'll probably spend some real money and get a, a modern uh, like Russian military style AK, which isn't quite as durable as the old ones, but the performance is just markedly better. Um, I love M-series rifles. Uh, M16, I love for extremely long range combat. M4 weapons, I have fired and I really, I, I enjoy and appreciate how easy they handle and feel. The, the thing about it is I am not a gun expert in real life, unfortunately, uh, especially when it comes to cleaning. I don't have that sort of expertise. So, oh, you, oh, come on. Oh, he cooked me. So I need a weapon that is relatively low maintenance. A weapon that I can uh, take care of on my own that doesn't require a lot of sophistication. Like the M-Series rifles are fantastic, but they are... Uh, they do require some maintenance. The, the AKs, on the other hand, are like stupidly simple and stupidly easy to maintain. This one literally says cryo on it, so that's going to be fun. I like that like when it says Polar Vortex, it's got cryo on the side. So I'm probably going to go with some AK series weapon. Uh, sir. Just because the maintenance on it is so incredibly low that I should be able to take care of it on my own almost indefinitely. I mean, the cleaning is very easy to do. That's one of the main benefits of the weapon and why a lot of uh, nations use it as their military rifle of choice because it's incredibly durable. Not that it's super high performance. And to be honest with you, I do not believe that my aim or expertise with uh, rifles warrants a M-series weapon of any kind. I don't believe that my peasant ass self could get the benefit out of having such a precise weapon. So I'm going to be much better off with the AK. You guys might uh, disagree with me, but that's where I'm going. And yes, I'm talking about fully automatic if I want to. In the good old state of Texas, I could go buy an SKS or semi-automatic AK-47 uh, today, I could do it within an hour with no background, well, yeah, there is a background check, no waiting period is what I meant to say. Very easy, so. Nice work, Sentinel. We'll see. Uh, so the basic Ruger AR-15 would fit you well. It might, and it just might not. I, um, don't get me wrong, I love firing AR-15 type weapons. I... I'm actually fairly accurate with them, not at military or infantry precision, but uh, for a civilian peasant, I can handle them quite well, and I understand the maintenance and, well, not maintenance, um, <clears throat> I understand their operation, change mag, change accessories, that, but when it comes to, like, keeping them clean, I don't have that skill set at all, or the time, because even if you're not using those weapons, you do need to keep them clean. Let me go ahead and create a new class here. I'm gonna screw around a little bit. I love screwing around. That's about all I do in this gun. Oh my god, yes! Forgot about these. Yeah, boy. You know the M1 irons. This gun was ridiculously fun. Uh, I don't need that one. I will probably not need that one either. Let's take this. Uh, we'll go. We'll go tac knife. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I have a camo for this. I might have some camos somewhere. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. You didn't have, you didn't have camos in this game. You didn't have unlockable camos. You had to pay extra for them. Yeah, M1 irons is super fun. What else do we have here? Specials. Uh, <laughs> Riot shield. 
This is the one where you could have the gold shield. Oh yeah, we have the the fast plant, fast melee shock plant. I don't have any attachments for it whatsoever. What I do want though, it oh, didn't get a chance to do anything. Okay, Afro Boy just subscribed. Let me check the subscriptions, make sure I haven't missed anybody. Uh, let's see, Ratchet Ford 42, Anthony Campos, and Afro Boy. Thank you for the subscription, guys. I appreciate it. Let me come on back over here. And I will probably use the M1 Irons, which is one of the weapons we got for free. We didn't have that. We got guns for free, one gun for free in this game. And then it took a long time until Infinite Warfare gave out some... I'm not sure if they were free or if they were, like, challenge-based weapons. This one was ridiculously fun. I love that it could two-shot people. I think that's what I enjoyed the most about it. Or I just had a big boner for hand cannons. Same thing in Destiny. Uh, I, I, I used hand cannons purely for stylistic reasons. They ended up being pretty good, but... The primary reason wasn't because they were awesome, but just because they were fun to look at. Well, it's like it felt so satisfying to hand cannon people in the face. And uh, the way to survive and do well with this is to just move incredibly fast 100% of the time. <laughs> oh no, why do they all have shotguns? <laughs> I love this, like, got that, that old pullback hammer. That's one thing I don't like in real life, is really high caliber pistols. I, I enjoy it in, in a game, where it's easier to aim and, you know, do make-believe things, but in real life, high caliber pistols are not for me. Let's see. Oh yeah, that shoots fast, I forgot about that. Okay, so, I forgot that I could shoot fast as hell. I will shoot faster than hell, I promise you. Enemy UAV online. Do you like McCree? Honestly, I don't. McCree doesn't offer me the sustained damage that I really want out of a DPS. He does offer me some nice things. His ultimate, I am terrible with. I respect his ultimate, because I've been on the receiving end of it far too many times. But I'm just downright garbage with it. Uh, the roll mechanic is highly underrated, and so is the flashbang and how it combos together. But McCree is not for me. I'm more of Soldier 76, which is, he is not a particularly unique character. He's like Mr. Call of Duty. Uh, but I am all about some Soldier 76 and Zarya and Reinhardt and... Really enjoy May and Tracer. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I see this guy bouncing around up top. So I think... Oh no! Get out of the damn house, dude! Two and seven with the M1 Irons. Got a long way to go on this little pistol. At least if I just get the game, like, fresh install in the game, I get to start out with, like, a DLC weapon, like a goofier one, so that's fun. Enemy UAV above. Whoops. That's my own grenade I'm bouncing into. There we go. This gun just makes me feel like a cowboy in a game... So, yeah, McCree is literally a cowboy, right? But the game has a lot of goofy characters, so it's not as unique to cowboy as McCree. Whereas in this game, everybody's in the space in the future. Not not in space, but this is a very futuristic game. This is like some Blade Runner level technology, right? And here I am, like, yeehaw, got a cowboy, got 44 caliber pistol going. Makes it real fun. Still comes in pretty good on the balance scale, too. Uh, well, when I'm good with it. I much I really like these akimbo because I just shoot them really fast. Uh, the single one is much more challenging, in my opinion. It's got all kinds of potential. I remember doing the in-depth. Statistically speaking, I'd have got that guy if it wasn't for his buddy. Statistically speaking, if you've got a good trigger finger, this is one of the fastest killing guns in the game inside of a very specific range, like that. Very few people can actually challenge you if you're accurate. It even does decent at long range. However, it's incredibly difficult to use, both in that you have to have a good trigger finger, you have to have good aim, it doesn't have good um, auto-aim range, it doesn't have a good a lot of things. So there's there's a, a very fixed skill that you need to do with the it. The heart is this uh, I got a donation muscle. coming in from Connor752. What's he saying? Love the AW so much, and great to see you streaming again. Uh, did you fill out a bracket? And if so, who do you have winning? Also, any recent or upcoming games that you're interested in playing? Thanks for all the awesome work. I did not fill out a bracket, so I don't really have anybody planned winning in particular. Come on now.
Um, so it doesn't matter to me who wins or loses. Not particularly concerned about it. Oh, got a nice... Oh, such a mint headshot. Love it. Um, recent games, I'm going to be getting in... I'm going to give Lawbreakers a try. You'll definitely see it on the channel. I'm going to play it later tonight. I may even stream it before I have to leave and travel again. I initially, if you guys remember the original Lawbreaker stream, I really, really, really hated it and didn't like it. But they've done a tremendous amount of work changing up the, the core gameplay mechanics. And I think that Lawbreakers in its current state, at least what I played at PAX, was incredibly good. And I am excited to try it out at home, see if it's just as good here. And if it is, it will be seen on the channel. It's, it's somewhere between Quake and Overwatch is, a, I feel, a fair comparison, even though I know the developers are... Uh, would, they don't like being compared to other games. Dreadnought, I'm tinkering with. It's a very slow-paced game. It has some fun. I'm having some matchmaking issues with it in that they're matching me out of tier, so the ship balances are off. There's a lot of good games that I want to play. There's Last of Us. There's um, Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th. Uh, there's so many good games out there right now. There's game, game. I feel like this is a great year for games in general. And the downside for me on YouTube is not that the games aren't good, but that there's so many I can't reasonably play them all and be decent at them at the same time. Like, if I'm going to play these games, I'm just going to end up kind of screwing around in them and being kind of average, you know. I don't really want to do that. Average, anybody can be average. I'm trying to be more exceptional. Excepting. Let me sit in the shadow over here. I wish I had an inspect weapon. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, let's do not. Let's do yes! One of my favorite kill streaks in the entire game. The big crazy solar panel. I almost never kill anybody with this. This is not a kill streak where you really kill people. This is just one where you feel really cool. Because you can just you can just laser kids like like over here. It takes a long time for these things to move though. So you really gotta aim ahead. Uh uh, who wants some solar panels? Who wants a solar panel? I don't know why the sensitivity is crazy as well. Get cooked, get cooked. Oh, God, dang, nab it. Get over here. Heh <laughs> Uh, yes! I got one. <laughs> Just one, but that's okay. I like it in Dom, it makes it impossible for them to take the points. Ah, did not get it. Didn't get it, nope. So I kind of like I have a combat knife. It's one thing that miffed me about Black Ops 3 is they didn't have a combat knife as my secondary. See, that's what I'm talking about. Such long range, such good accuracy. I feel like if I were playing on PC, this would be a god gun. This one and the XM1. I know the EM1 Poner was like the god gun on PC because people could just do absolutely insane stuff with hip firing it. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad this isn't a secondary. I'd love to have it as a secondary on all my classes, but I know that would be wicked OP. Oh yeah, MP11 Goliath. All about some Goliath. See if I can Goliath somebody up over here. Whoops. There we go. Got a Kingslayer medal. Doing the Lord's work today. This dude's still camping in this little building. I'm tired of his crap. Maybe that kicked him out. Oh, you serious? You've been there the entire game, buddy. You can't just sit there forever. I guess you can. Uh, Darren Smith says the senior art director for Lawbreakers was the senior art director for Planet Side 2. Uh, good to know. Did not know that. I know I know a few uh, former Infinity Ward people are working on uh, Lawbreakers, and it's it has really improved a lot. Got new subscribers: Scotty Dog 95, Adrian Gonzalez, and Final Mucka 187. Thank you guys for subscribing. I appreciate it. And Phase Blue 2 channel has subscribed. Random Hero says, "Hey Drifter, I just want to say I have a lot of respect for you doing that fundraiser stream for the Dallas Five. Thank you, Random Hero. I appreciate that. Wasn't super easy to do. Ended on kind of a weird note, and uh, I, I, there definitely was some concern there with uh, racism and other things. Basically, in that." Uh, why didn't I do it to uh, four other people, but it just didn't pan out that way. I just, it, it happened in my backyard, so uh, what do I want? We're going to go elite. We're just going to do that. <laughs> it's kind of just like a PDW to spam people. M1 Irons was fun. Let's see if there's a submachine gun I haven't used in a long time. Uh, there's so many new ones I'd love to use, which I don't have. These aren't very fun. Assault rifles. Oh, so many guns I don't have. Dang. This one's free. Oh, that's I have to download the DLC. Well, don't have that downloaded. What is... Uh, mm, I'm 
use the HBR H or the HBR HBR three. I'm gonna give that one a go as well. Do I have any variants for that? Average Joe. Average Joe is a fantastic one. Such a good variant. Uh, Bear Fist I didn't really enjoy very much. Bear Fist wasn't very good. I don't need primary gunfighter. That's for certain. I like this one. Ah, mm, no customization there. Dang, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Took our gerbs. Uh, Shinobi Shibe says, you don't have the gingerbread shirt equipped? I should have had the gingerbread shirt equipped. I intended to have it equipped. Uh, Diesel Frost still, uh, repping it in the chat. Yeah, some very heavy guns, 20 pounds or more. So I, I like the locks. They're light. They're easy to work with. Heard it's a super old battle. Just kind of reading the chat, hanging out. The Lawbreaker stream was hilarious. Yeah, it was hilarious for you. It was not particularly hilarious for me. For me, it was, like, anti-hilarious. Uh, let's see what's gonna be hilarious. Is using a riot shield on a map for sniper rifles. This is one of the most open maps in the entire game. And I'm going to use a riot shield. And that is exactly what happens when you use the riot shield. I feel like the riot shield should be... No. No. You don't spawn me in somebody's point of view. That's a bad spawn. What did he have? Oh, I run into the one guy on the whole map with a light machine gun. Great. Excelente. Whoa. What gun is that? M1 S12. Hmm. A little desync there from kind of where I expected him to be. This is where he actually was. Friendly UAV above. <laughs> okay, yes, I don't think this is uh this is gonna last very long, fortunately. I'll use the H I'll use the average Joe here with no attachments. I'll go it I'll go I'll, I'll go in it raw. We'll do that. That's how I'll say it. That's definitely the most appropriate way to say it. I can't even melee people in the in the back or the side like that. Okay. So no attachments, average Joe. I'm missing three of my pick 13 items, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to see if I can do this a little better. This was kind of like the AN-94, but not quite. Uh, this gun like wanted to be the AN-94, but wasn't quite the AN-94. Never liked the irons on it. Some people really love these iron sights. I didn't have a great deal of love for them. When I was playing in Gamescom, this is by far the best gun. Whatever they did with that build. This gun was just dope. Or maybe it was just my feeling. I don't know anything that's going on. Ah, oh, the Paytech guy just hammering me. Uh, Kevin M's in the chat talking to Mr. Doverfield about some things. Somebody has an MDL grenade launcher, guys. That's not good for my health. Not even remotely. Why can I not hit people? Because I'm relying on hip fire, which is not a brilliant thing to do. Have resurrected the KDR. Team is somehow winning. Uh, was not expecting to see that after screwing around with the riot shield. May swap over to the sniper rifle. Shoot this guy. Oh, come on. You know that guy's gotta die. This gun was faster fire rate, but then decreasing recoil, if I remember correctly. Let's see if I can link somebody. This is really a stupid idea. Yep. It says, do the get out challenge. I do not know what the get out challenge is. If only I could see what I was shooting at, it'd be so much more dangerous here. Remember, this was the gun that Nade Shot uh, really enjoyed using. So the guy I put all those shots in shouldn't be challenging me, but he decided to try that anyway. See, assault rifle is just easy peasy. Um, I'd like to say I could do this all day, it doesn't take a great deal of skill. By the time I've moved around, my once good position has changed to a much more mediocre one. Mmm, mm mmm. Okay, I did earn the UF, which should help the team a great deal. UAVs are one of the most essential things in Call of Duty, and I got killed by the invisible guy. Definitely, that's the kind of specialist I could use to deal without. 
I realize it's temporary and there's a lot of reasons that it's maybe not OP. But OP and annoying are different things. You can have something that is incredibly annoying but not OP and that is one of them. Not OP, but very annoying. Okay, got a care package. Need to call it in somewhere that I believe is safe. Uh, there's like three of my teammates over here. So, there's nobody. Yep, I see you up there. When you managed to pick me off very effectively with the ARX. Good on you. This is a terrible place to call it in. Saw the invisible guy that time. As long as you can see the outline, you can make it happen. Let me move around somewhere more conducive to my beliefs on this care package, which is... Ah, I needed that red dot sight. Mm, okay. Okay, if I breakneck like that one. Got picked. I need to call this care package. This is a terrible spot. Oh, very, very terrible because they're all moving up. I never, I don't, this happens like every time I call in a care package, I'm like completely unable to defend it. Kind of sucks, honestly. This gave the enemy a UAV, but the margins, we, we are ahead by 10 kills, so they shouldn't be able to easily catch up to us. Ed Para says, is Bastion OP or annoying? I actually feel that old Bastion was more OP than current Bastion, but both Bastions are certainly annoying. Having him that very tight spread and the ability to hip fire, I mean, and headshot people was just kind of broken. But um, Bastion, I believe, is definitely more on the annoying side than he is on the OP side. There are lots of ways to counter Bastion. They did it very effectively at higher elos. Kind of like Teemo. Teemo can blow you up. Heimerdonger can dominate your lane. Um, there were guns like the... What's a good one? There are lots of things in games that are annoying but not OP. But no, uh, Bastion Bastion's probably annoying and not OP. That doesn't mean that annoying is good gameplay. When you're when your fans get angry at your game, not not ideal. And here toward the end of the stream got a bit of good news. Uh, Drifter Mobile is set to return uh, soon. TM might be this afternoon. It might be Friday, but it's definitely going to be within a week. I can't say for certain exactly what day and what time, but I am close. It could be done very soon, we hope. There's a dude back here. There we go. Finishing it up. Yeah, Kevin M, a lot of people ask, uh, they, they, they spam the questions in there until I notice them. I try to read as many as I can, though. I'm going to go ahead and check everything here. Looks like we're doing good. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the 500 SW pistol was designed to be a bear hunting pistol. Like, last resort, it had to kill bears. You're completely right about that. Uh, armor, yeah, that expired. Okay, so we're good. Uh, I'm doing a short stream today because, unfortunately, I have to do a lot of video work to prepare. Oh, I'd un did I unequip my gingerbread suit? Dagnabbit. Tops is what we have. There we go. Fix that. Wait a minute. So many outfit items. Knee guards. There we go. Wish there was a nun option. Uh oh. What's going on here? Something goofy. What's going on? There we go. Okay. Gingerbread has returned just for Julian. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I doubt you learned anything, but hope you had fun watching me play uh, Advanced Warfare, a little retro trip for you. And if you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.